Hey everybody, Carl again. I'm reviewing another one of the games I've been playing. This time it's Batman Arkham City. This game, I, I really liked the first one. The second one I was kind of wondering about because they made it more of an open world. and I have this way that I, they feel about open world kind of sandbox-ish games where I keep feeling like they're going to be missing a lot because they're going to try too hard for the world to be big. But this game managed to have it go pretty well. Um, they, they, they actually isolate part of Gotham City from the rest of it. So you're not in the entire city in this one. You're, you're in what's considered the old Gotham. Which, which works out quite well, so it's not as big as you think it would be, but it works really well for a Batman game, and it's much bigger than the last one was. Another thing I thought was awesome this time around, like, they actually start you off right off the bat with this. You're playing as Catwoman for the first part. And the, and the game actually goes between Batman and Catwoman as the game progresses. Now, uh, I won't say what plot points start that, but you know, let's say you'll be going along as Batman for a little while, and then something will happen, and it'll switch to Catwoman for a little while, and then back and forth. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the countering system this time around, I felt, is a little more responsive than it was in the last game. Uh, some of the, the fights, uh, especially one that... Uh, that I think I should mention, I won't mention how in the plot this occurs, but you do fight Bane at some point. And it's not like the, the Nolan film Bane, where it's just like a normal guy with a mask and stuff. No, this is, this is chemically enhanced, large as a truck Bane. And while you're fighting him, they just pour wave after wave of guys after you that are fighting you along with it. And they do this awesome thing with that, where you can just keep countering. Unfortunately for that, I don't have the footage on that one because my frame rate's messed up on the video. However, I do have a lot of footage to show you guys while I'm talking about this that has to do with the countering system. You can see how the, uh, the way you can just keep countering and moving from guy to guy. Now, this won't hurt them as much as it would be you just normally comboing them, but it's so responsive that if you keep your eye on it, you can pretty much indefinitely keep up the fight. It, it's pretty cool. Another thing that I thought was really cool in this one was how Robin looks. Now I know the comics have already used this look before, but after seeing how Robin looked in previous Batman related things, especially like Batman and Robin, other movies like that, seeing him with the hood and, and the sticks in this one, it, it's, it, it, it's definitely a better look than he had before. Some of the other things are kind of odd, like uh, the texturing. I, I felt they went a little too far in some of it. Like, oh, well, for example, with Catwoman, you can see on her outfit that, you know, you know, you just think she was wearing just normal outfit. When you look at it closely, it almost looks like her outfit's made out of that same armored stuff that Batman's is, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I understand they wanted to keep the detail going, so that's that's cool. Uh, Joker this time around, he's back. I mean, you got that from, like, the previews, I'm sure, so that's not really a spoiler. I'm not gonna say why he's back. Uh, it's pretty messed up, though. Pretty messed up. And they have some really funny things in the game with that, like, uh... He gets a hold of Batman's communication number, and you keep getting voicemails from the Joker where he just won't leave you alone. Whoa! I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier! A hotline straight to my bestest friend in the world! Just think! I can call you up whenever I get bored! <laughs> I think our relationship is really maturing here. The next thing you know is we'll be exchanging emails or meeting up for romantic dinners. He just keeps talking to you and that, that's, that's pretty hilarious. As far as beat-em-up games go, this one is, is pretty awesome. Uh, like the last one, they're using the voice actors from the Batman animated series. So they're keeping with that theme, that's definitely the high point to it for me. Mark Hamill has to be my favorite voice for the Joker, just hands down on that. 
This one is definitely worth a buy. However, I would point out that sometimes the detective mode in this one can get a little frustrating because of how big everything is. You get really absorbed in trying to find something to the point where a gang will notice you or you'll swing to the wrong spot. Oh, the grappling in this game is awesome. Uh, before in the other one, you could, you know, grapple to points using Batman's gadgets. He has more gadgets this time around, which is cool. Uh, Alfred keeps doing these supply drops for you. Uh, you. Your grapple can go between buildings. Uh, your glide has a lot more use this time around. He gets something that acts like a taser, which is cool. It also can power doors. Kind of has that puzzle aspect to it. You get the... Oh, th this is kind of a silly thing, but you get this gel that blows stuff up. It's kind of like C4. And the game's dark theme has kind of a funny point to it whenever you're using that stuff because Batman will put this gel on in the shape of a bat. And I understand that's his thing, but it just seems really funny when you watch him do that in this game because of how dark everything else looks. Uh, the rest of the gadgets, I'm not going to spoil what they all are, but his gadgets are definitely a high point to the game. They, they're put together really well. Uh, all in all, I, I like this one a little bit better than the first one. Uh, more expansive, a lot more to fight. Uh, some of the boss fights are really, really well done. Like, uh, you get to fight Solomon Grundy, and that's, that's definitely something I didn't see coming just playing into it. That's about it for this one. I'd say that given the last one, it would have about an 8 out of 10. This one, I would give a 9 out of 10. The only thing that it's missing, I would say, is sometimes the physics can get kind of weird and Batman can get kind of displaced during battles. But that's kind of a minor point, considering a lot of times Batman just takes enemies out with like a, a stealth takedown and things like that. But, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a pickup. I'd, I'd do that. And uh, thank you for joining me this time around. This has been a, uh, a guest speak for another channel. Usually, mo some of you may have followed me on my channel, but uh, this time around, it's, it's fun to do a little guest video. All right, I'll catch you guys around. See you later. It's okay to die, Bat. I'll be here to protect Gotham. <laughs> I'll do a real good job.